in Tantra, when I was at the ashram, we became friends first. So we would say, if, I wanted, if we wanted to become friends, what would we share? We didn't say that prompt, but we were interested in being friends first. Now in the West here, what does it mean to be in the friend zone? It's not good, right? It means you're not getting any. <laughs> you're not, it means I don't find you sexually attractive. But at the ashram, we, it didn't make sense to not uh, be sexually interested in someone that you all were, haven't already established some sort of friendship with because it would be weird. It would be weird to have sex with someone you don't feel comfortable with. It would be weird. It would be weird to be dating someone you didn't feel comfortable with. So we would get to know each other as friends first and meet each other as friends, meet each other as potential friends. Is this person going to be someone I would feel comfortable with? And actually, it turns out that uh, John Gottman, who's a premier psychologist along with his wife, did studies that 70% of people in long-term relationships that they're happy, the number one thing that they value about that relationship is the friendship. So the West is teaching us to look for the wrong things because we're looking for not friendship, and that's actually what makes long-term relationships work, is friendship. So, to ask a question and to go into a dating situation with, if I was going to be friends with this person, what would I share with them? Or what would I want to know about them if I was going to be friends, actually makes sense. It actually makes sense. If you, if you want a relationship to work. If you're looking for a weekend hot thing, no problem, and there's no problem if you're looking for that. But if you are looking for something that has some legs and lasts for a while, you want to build a friendship with that person. In fact, the Gottman say if you're have in a relationship that's having trouble, it's because the friendship isn't strong enough, and they work with people to have their friendship grow. Greg and I are best friends and best sexual friends, and that is that really works well.